is meteorologist Mark Molnar as your host for the weather show, Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into precipitation amounts across the country. We've got here across the central states, between Dallas and Linden, Texas here, anywhere from four to six inches of rain. You notice rainfall and mountain snow out here in the Sierra Nevadas. That's stretching to the coast. That's a new pattern kicking in, and this could be the effects starting of El Nino here, which would be good news. And back east here across the country here, extending from the mid-Mississippi River Valley, the Ohio River Valley, lower Great Lakes, Allegheny River Valley, and into the Susquehanna River Valley, we could see rainfall extending on the order of one to two inches through the middle of the weekend into the early part of next week. So let's get right into that pattern. Look at out west here, that trough really kicking in across the western portion of the North American continent here. The series of low pressure systems, good news out west here. And of course, beneficial rains here in Texas, although it's a little bit too much at once here. That will get the severe weather going here on the back side of some subtropical ridge, which will start to break down a little bit because you notice here, we start to get almost like a mini trough developing up in the northeastern part of North America here. So that will keep things unsettled up through the lakes into New England here. Let's get right into those surface maps for your weekend, starting with your Saturday. Look at this. We start off with some rain showers, scattered rain and thunderstorms here across New York and Pennsylvania and anywhere close to that front, frontal boundary moving in. And that will be advancing the clouds here on New England and temperatures warming into the upper 70s, low 80s in many locations here. So you'll have to dodge the raindrops, especially in the afternoon hours here across New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Southern Ontario. Staying somewhat clear until later in the day across Eastern and Northern New England here into Southern Quebec, heading on into your Sunday. Take a look at this. We start to really split the pattern here. We've got that frontal boundary kind of stalling out here across the Northeast. We'll see a ripple of low pressure ride along it. So places from especially I-80 in Pennsylvania southward over towards Ohio, really seeing the showers and thunderstorms likely continuing. And up here into Northeastern New England as well, we'll have some residual showers possible, especially in the morning hours. But we head on into your Sunday, of course, the last part of your weekend. Kind of in between here, we have the greatest risk of sunshine, seeing the sunshine and the warmer temperatures likely. And of course, warmer temperatures here along the coast as well. Heading on into your Monday, take a look at this. We've got that system starting to advance, that warm front. This is where the lion's share of the precipitation will occur from London, Ontario, Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, Albany, Binghamton, all the way down to Scranton, Harrisburg, Lancaster area, Pittsburgh, Akron, Ohio, all getting in on the act of showers and thunderstorms likely, especially from I-81 eastward after 3 p.m. west of I-81 before 3 p.m., probably from late morning to early afternoon hours here, and all that will be pushing into the area here from the west. Some could be on the strong to severe side over towards Erie and Cleveland and London, Ontario, heading on into your Tuesday here, take a look at this. We push that cold front here across the Susquehanna River Valley. Sharp cold front because behind it, that will usher in windier conditions, cold, cooler air, temperatures cooling down here into the 60s and even some upper 50s near Toronto. Showers and thunderstorms likely to the east here into New England, northern New England's Hudson Valley, Poconos, Catskills likely in the morning, transferring to the afternoon here into New England. I have a five-day outlook for my hometown viewers in the Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania from Binghamton, Scranton, Amira. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com. It's Twitter at WX Northeastern and Google Plus at MediaMark. Here's your five-day stretching from the weekend here, bouncing from Saturday all the way to the midpoint of next week. Look at this. Saturday showers and thunderstorms, especially after 2 p.m. Look at this. Highs getting up near 80 into the low 80-degree range course heading on into Sunday here. We warm things up quite a bit into the mid 80s. Look at this, only a 30% chance of an sh afternoon shower or thunderstorm into your Sunday night. Muggy, mid to 60s into Monday here. That's when that front really starts to approach from the west. We'll see showers and thunderstorms likely by late in the day into early evening. Temperatures getting up into the 80s again and then look at that Tuesday. Not looking too bad as well. Temperatures Cooling down though, 
into Wednesday. Look at that Tuesday, that cold front heads through showers and thunderstorms likely, especially in the morning hours. And Wednesday, we might not get out of the upper 50s. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.